In immunology, where we study the immune system, we will come across these terms antigen and antibody. Now for many of us, these are confusing terms. So in this video, we'll illustrate the differences between an antigen and an antibody. Now antigens, illustrated by this purple line, are macromolecules generally made from proteins or polysaccharides. Antigens are recognized by the immune system as foreign. Therefore, antibodies are produced to bind to these antigens. So the word antigen can be remembered by antibody generator. Single antibodies aren't produced against a whole antigen, rather particular chemical regions of the antigen known as antigen determinants or epitopes is where antibodies will bind. Now antibodies are also called immunoglobulins and are Y-shaped protein molecules that are made by a type of white blood cell called B cells in response to exposure to an antigen. Now the variable region of an antibody is where it binds to the epitope. This region is known as the paratope. When an antibody recognizes a foreign antigen bind to the epitopes, as you can see down here, there are a number of things that the antibody response will cause. Number one, precipitation, which means the antigen will come out of solution or become insoluble. Agglutination, which means multiple antigens will clump together, which makes it easier to be destroyed. Neutralization, where toxic antigens can be inactivated. Inflammation, where the antibodies can trigger um, an inflammatory response, such as through histamine. And finally, destruction. This can happen through optimization or phagocytosis or lysis, where the antibody will flag a response and other white blood cells will come in to cause that destruction. 